And hello everyone, welcome to another episode on my channel for PSVR playthrough. And on this one we're going to be playing Sports Bar. Uh, well it's correctly titled now, Sports Bar 2.0. Because this was originally a launch title. And it's just had an update. And we're going to be exploring the update in this video for you today. Uh, straight from the start here I can tell you this is all new as I wait outside to go into the bar I'm standing outside on the street and I can see skyscrapers uh, reaching up to the sky ahead of me but our destination is behind that door so uh, let's get into it first off this is the setup uh, we're going to be playing f you're going to need two move controllers by the way if you want to play this game as far as I'm aware, you can't play on a dual shock. It is move controller only. Which, if you don't have a move controllers by now, if you own VR, then uh, you really are going to need some because a lot of games are supporting move controllers, and it actually adds to the whole realism. So let's go. We're right-handed. Uh, we can play standing or seated. I recommend standing, as the game does here. Uh, it it can be played seated, but you're going to be playing pool and darts and stuff like that and it's um, obviously you would play that standing so here we go let's go standing there's a height setup functionality that's quite clever there's not many VR games that actually do this actually take you through all the all the setup you can now with this update um, alter that within the game which I think is quite good and I'll explain why that's good as we as we get into it but we're going to skip it for now uh, continue the game except it's now saying we've got to move ourselves within this little thing. It actually brings me closer to the camera, which troubles me a little bit because there's less distance between the... I think the further away you are from the camera, the better myself. That's the way I look at it. Um, pretty much accepted there. Uh, they do give you a tutorial. I'm going to skip that because um, obviously if you do buy the game, you'll be able to play that yourself and get through it. We're going to just go straight into it. Yeah, so um, I've had this one over a year. Uh, my biggest problem with this game was it's it's okay, but it's just some of the control system I found very difficult. Uh, specifically the pool. I always found that quite tricky. I did actually eventually get the hang of it, but... Um, uh, so we'll see how we get on with this update. So this is all new. We're in like a little setup room here. And we can see ourselves looking back at us. Hello. Ooh. And uh, to move around in the game, two ways. You've got a thing called Hulk mode, where if you hold down both controllers, I can turn the world around me. And I have to say, that does feel a little bit queasy doing that. So... It's up to you if you want to do that, but I, I immediately feel sick doing that. Preferably, there's a teleport mode, and I literally just uh, move this um, little thing, and I position myself there. Um, I have to ask the question why they're not included just being able to just move forward and back like most v VR games. But um, that's um, it's up to the developers, isn't it? I mean, it'd be nice if we just walk in one direction, but... Um, you have to use this Hulk mode. You do get used to it, but it just feels weird. You're sort of pulling yourself along the ground, so to speak, which is a little bit strange. Um, playing the game, there's unlocks. Little silly little things here. And that's what you're going to look like, because obviously it is an online game. So you're going to be playing against other PS4 users, and they've since the update have also made it cross-platform, so opens it up to other people on PC and Xbox and all that kind of sort of stuff. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> we'll go for the beer hat, that sounds quite apt, doesn't it? So, what we've got over here, let's go check out our little closet. This is where the Hulk mode is quite good, so rather than having to turn my head, which I can do, I can just turn the world. So it's not too bad. Table tennis. Tennis ball, what was that, baseball, yeah, American football. 
So it's the game's way of sort of giving you stuff to to sort of achieve in the game. Uh, this is all new as well. I've added a little mini map. So you can jump straight to a certain section, which is quite clever. So as you can see, these are some of the games you'll be able to play. Checkers, chess, pool, air hockey, ramp ball, darts and shuffleboard. And a new thing, reaction. So uh, let's get into the bar and we'll do a little guided tour. All right, so here we are. Hello, everybody. Like I said, I can pull myself along like this, which is really bizarre. But um, I'm going to use this teleport functionality. Let's just head over here. So there is music in this game, but it was, I just switched it off because it's quite monotonous. It's like the usual sort of rock music and stuff. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think you can actually play your Spotify music in the background, which is which is quite a nice touch. But forgive me if that's wrong information. I might be getting confused, but I'm pretty sure you could do that. Um, let's go see these girls over here. Hello, ladies. How's it going? Totally ignoring me, so that's realistic, isn't it? Anyway, so <laughs> let's head over here and see this crowd of people. And uh, so this is where the height issue comes in because I really feel like I'm not old enough to be in this bar at the minute because they're all sort of much taller than me. Let's let's head to the bar. Yeah, we need to get this uh, get this lowered. So what we do is we get to alter the height now. You go into your profile and you go settings and we can adjust the height uh, there you go so let's lower the height oh raise height even I'll raise my height yep that's better I actually feel like I'm old enough to be in this place now <laughs> so so yeah, so these are the pool tables. Uh, another update in this game is they've now opened up all the tables. So before you only had one table you could play on. So now they're all available. So we've got pool over there. Let's head over here. We've got darts. Well, that's actually the, um, the setup, setup rack so we can set the queues. Various cues that we've won. So, very nice. There's darts. Let's head over to darts. And as I say, all the games now you can play against the computer, which is quite nice. So, start game. AI. So uh, let's go easy. Let's go 501. Begin game. Uh, I'm not really good at darts on this. Let's just bring ourselves. Right, so. The fact that we're both going together is a bit bizarre. Normally it should be one person at a time, but. Never really been that much fan of darts in this. It's um, it just doesn't seem to work well for myself. But well, I've just got a trophy for something. That's not what I've done. You can see my score at the top. So it's really it's not so much a try and beat him. It's just who can get down the score fast enough. By the looks of it. So let's speed up a bit. See my score going down at the top. Uh, 
I think he's going to win. Of course, what's more fun is that you can just come away from the game and throw your darts anywhere you want, really. Throw them onto the table. Yeah, it's more fun. Let's get out of here. There we go. Let's head somewhere else. Let's go. Oh, we can use our mini-map now. We've still got the darts here. Look. Let's go mini-map. Um, let's head to the air hockey. Alright, so this is... Uh, this one's a bit forward. It's the AI. So... Oh, well, this actually works quite well, actually. Let's, uh, yay, there you go, scored one. You sort of get into it and you forget you're playing, you think you really are here. scored one all right let's head over here deep in conversation if you want to pick anything up you can just by holding the wand get rid of that You've been removed from your air hockey eye game. Oh, I'm not surprised. Yeah, ladies have that. Alright, what have we got over here? Start game. Start game. So. And get a score. <laughs> ah. New personal high score. Well done. Right, where else can we go? Let's get back to our mini map. Uh, this is something new they've included, challenges now. This has obviously encouraged you to come back and play every day. You've got daily challenges. Uh, there you go, that's what we were just playing, ramp ball. Uh, so let's look at daily challenges. Dart score 301, we've done that. Keepy uppy, hit the ping pong ball in the air 30 times in a row without bouncing. Score bills, I've done that. Smash 20 bottles in the room. Ramp score, score 100. Score 100, 100 points with one ball in ramp ball. Well, that's where we are. So, score 100. So, you've got to get that. Let's see if I can do that. Gives it a bit more purpose, really, doesn't it? I mean, obviously, if I was playing online, there'd be other people here, but I'm just playing in the single player mode here. Let's see if I can get this up here with one ball. And it's not as easy as it looks because it is tough. Yeah, done it. Got in there. When well, there's my tickets coming out there, look. Tickets I've won, I can obviously use for, for other stuff in the game. Oh, it's gone up the top there. That's going to be a personal high score. Nice, there's my tickets. Oh, quite a few tickets there. Let's go over there. And turn around. 
quiet over here. Let's go back to our map. Let's go to um, challenges. Yeah, there we go. So we've completed that. <coughs> Break bottles 20. Smash 20 bottles in the room. So let's look around for some bottles to smash. There's plenty of them. There's a bar, so there must be plenty of those. Yeah, there's one. Smash the hell out of it. What have we got over here? Oh, looks like that's the... Um, is this the chessboard? Yeah. So that's quite good if you want to have a game of chess. Can you play against the computer now? I don't know if you could on the... pieces about. Ah, there you go. Don't know if you can. I feel like I actually feel like I want to sit down. I'm actually gonna sit down in my chair. This would be weird. Oh that feels weird. Obviously I'm gonna need to bring the height down. Uh, let's just reset it. Oh now I'm too high. <laughs> um Right, okay, let's um let's go into settings height. There you go. And we're bringing the I actually feel now I'm actually sitting here. It's kind of quite comfortable. But uh because I'm now sitting I'm kind of out of the camera's range, so as well, sort of the issues with this game arise, I think, because the tracking tends to go off. So, um, but yeah, no computer opponent. So this one looks as though it's only online, and I do question as to whether or not if it even it actually even knows the chess game it's just us down to the individual players to play it there doesn't seem to be any software with this anyhow let's head over here I'm gonna have to uh, um, stand back up again now this is new puzzle all pick a puzzle solve find the blocks hidden in the room put the blocks in the grid on the picture. So let's have a look. Choose size of puzzle. Let's go three by three. Standard. Begin puzzle. So what's this all about then? Gather any blocks that have been found onto the shelf. Yeah, okay. Find Find the blocks hidden in the room. Oh, so that's quite good. I like this. This is like a something new that again they've added. So you're walking around. Let's see if we can find any. We'll smash some of those bottles while we're at it. Let's leave ourselves over here. Dominoes off. And look, we have a puzzle block. One out of nine blocks found. Teleport to puzzle circle. Right. One out of nine found. Ah, well, this is good. Let's go behind the bar. Oh, we're really tall. <laughs> more bottles to smash through. Let's get our height down here. Uh, 
da, 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 where is it? Settings. Height. Let's take it down. Oh, I'm too. Suddenly I'm really tiny. Oh, hello, love. <laughs> Let's go up a bit here. I'm going to be the same height as her, and I feel like I'm about right then. Excellent. Yeah. Pretty much pick up anything, really. Let's look down into the. Not much beer stashed away, love. Smash some more bottles. Didn't actually smash. Yeah, that's for charging. Too much for my beers. Some more bottles to smash. Pick these ones up. No, they're hidden away. It's actually quite bad if what <laughs> Seriously, it won't let me... Whoa! No. <laughs> It won't let me smash it over his head, that would be a little bit too violent. Can't be many more to go. Yeah, more bottles. We're still looking for these um, puzzle pieces. Oh look, there we are, there's one down there. Oh, send to puzzle. Oh, that's clever. So it's already gone over there, so that's good. It shows you they could be hidden anywhere, really. Oh, there's another one there, look. I like this. Three blocks found, send the puzzle. Kind of they make a noise so you know you're near them. There's another one. Send the puzzle. How are we getting on with our um, challenges? Break pause, we've done that. Times 20. So it's just the ping pong ball to do now. Yeah. He's still playing darts. <laughs> I've left him do it. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Oh, there's another block over there. Let's. This is where standing up is better, you see, so you can actually literally crouch down in real life under the table. Let's send to puzzle. So, let's see if we can find the rest of them. Um, that ping pong thing. Let's see if I can do that. Um, there's a way to do that. Uh, toys. Beach ball ping pong. Yeah, all right. Right, let's see if I can write it. So see if I can do this. Oh, my God. This is... <laughs> Come on, back you go. Oh, Christ. Come back. Yeah, I'll just stand in the middle of all these guys and... Excuse me, loves. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, he's going to kick my ball out of the way. Oh, bugger. What happened there? I think I'll... Um, Oh, my back gone. Oh, well, that's gone. This is where, as I say, the game sometimes is a little bit sort of 
sort of like, what am I doing? It's probably just easy. I don't know where my bat's gone. It's sort of falling out of the sky there. What's that all about? <laughs> let's just... Um, let's just re... We do all that. Ah, we see it there. Why is my bat? See, that's just weird, isn't it? Right, stop doing it now. Look. All right, pick it up. Let's get on there. All right. Whoa, 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 it's so difficult. To do that 30 times is going to be next to impossible. Come on. Pick it up. And you see now this arrow is telling me, because you, you forget you're probably facing away from the camera, so this arrow always tells you where the camera is, so that's quite handy, see. Right, let's see if I can, whoa, whoa, oh, come on. Oh, it's just, that's difficult. <laughs> I think I'll give that, give that one a miss for now. Uh, right. Still trying to find all these pieces. So, what have we got in here? This is, so, what's this thing? Whoa. Hello. I can... I can hear another piece. Where am I hearing it? So, in this direction. I think it's under this table. Yay, there it is. Got my back back all of a sudden. Thank you. Send to puzzle. So I've only got a couple more to find. Oh, this is another little side game here. Start game. Yeah, match. Let's go for easy. And, uh, yeah, we have to move these boards from up there. Alright, my turn. Still got the bloody bat here, but... Oh, see, tracking's right out there. Oh. So if I want to go like that, it goes off at an angle. Throwing blue. Nope. I say, in time, you get it right. You get the position of the camera right. You get the tracking right. But it's just, I've always found this game a little bit sort of, it's, it's not really very friendly for first time VR users. But um, I think that's pretty much it for that one. Well, I'm going to be heading in that direction now. See that? I don't know why it's going over there. I've had enough of that. I still try and find some of these pieces. You've only got two more to find. Mm. 
Ball is back again. Whoa. Oh, that's quite good. So I can just press circle with the ball to a pit. <laughs> ah! That's so difficult. Might just switch hands actually. I'm more of a right hand person. So obviously, the game wants me to go left handed for that. Oh, and I just dropped it. Probably just as well. Yeah. So I need three more pieces to find. Oh, checkers. Hmm. Oh. Let's just sit down. Yeah, see, there's no, there's no computer here. This is just purely, if I was an online person sitting here, we'd just play and... So I suppose there's a sort of a social type thing. This is what it's basically all about. But it does beg the question. You just go to a real bar, and meet real people. But uh, there you go. All right. Let's try and find these three other pieces. Where haven't we been? I look around. Oh, I'm hearing it right near me. It's quite foreboding actually hearing that. Where is that? in this direction. There it be. Send to puzzle. Right. And we've still got to play the pool. I'm going to try and get a quick game of pool and show you that before we leave this video. Because for me the pool is... That bat is still falling out of the sky over there. Look at that. How random. That's really weird. The game's a bit buggy at the moment. You have to sort of say, well, it's, it's only just had this update, so there's going to iron out a few problems. Oh, just won a prize for something. Well, that was all about. Yeah, if we head over there. Suddenly got the darts back again. Come on. So there was actually rooms out there. Look, I could join a room. Correct room. Choose region. Turn it off. Auto join. Online. I'm quite happy just sort of being. It's not just myself here at the moment. Uh, let's head over there. Oh, no, this is something new as well. Let's show you this. This is the reaction room. And this is a whole new section of the game. 
So let's head to that. And we've actually we've got. So like there's actually a block in here as well. Oh, so it's quite good that I've come in here. Where's that? I think it's <laughs> definitely getting louder. Where is it coming from? Oh. Such a more into finding these blocks. Oh, got a chair here. Oh, over there. Ah, it's in the bin. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. Send that to Puzzle. And like, while we're in here, we'll show you this reaction room thing. Again, this is something new they've added. So you've got various modes. You've got a timer. Um, left or right. I'm going to go with that one. Single player. And I have to hit the green ones with my left hand. These ones with my right hand. So let's go. So do 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 do. And obviously, if you're playing this, quite a few people. Sort of who's the fastest. Oh, I have to have add though, this update is completely free. He didn't have to pay for this, so any negativity Oh shit. Any negativity um you might have with this is like, well, do you know what? I didn't have to pay for this. But for the initial purchase of the game. But it's all nice to have these updates. <laughs> Yay! And more tickets. Nice. So yeah, that's something else they've added. I'm still missing these pieces. The fact that they're in here, I wonder if um, they'd put them in the um, in one of the changing rooms or anything like that. So let's head right over there. Let's go through this area. There's my bat. It's finally stopped falling from the sky. Okay, we're going to play some pool, I think, now. Now we're over this section. So, to me, this is the the best part of the game. Uh, this is... Uh, it's quite a... Once you get used to the control and how it all works, this, is, this works really well. So, we're going to head over here. And, in fact, when this game was first released, uh, or in some form or other, it was called Pool Nation. So, it was obviously designed as a pool game. And they've obviously expanded upon it and made it the uh, the game that it is now. Setup game. Human or AI, let's go AI. Eight ball, nine ball, kill or three ball, we're gonna go eight ball. So that's good. Our opponent. Level of difficulty. I'm gonna stick with level one stuff with. Number of frames, let's go one. And uh, we're off. So an open table. Now you can move around this table just by holding down the teleport button and change into that section. Or you can just move around like this. It's an open table so far, so well, I've got to remember to do bring up the queue here. There you go, that's it. 
Yes, uh, and we're literally we're holding left stick or left wand, and I'm literally crouching down. This is why the height thing is so important. And we can lock. I think it's that to lock it. Yeah. Very fine control, and then. Yay, what a shot. No, don't go in. All right, so I'm stripes. This is where the setup is quite important because um, you want this tracking to be pretty much spot on. That's enough. Yeah, combo. Nice. Oh, still in it. So let's go. Let's try and get that one. See, the queue is going all over the place here. Get the little red dot on the ball so you can see. I'll try a really sneaky little Robert plant here. This isn't going to work. You see, it's wobbling around all over the place, so it's. It's just getting it just right. Oh, Christ. Let's get there. Let's just move myself. I see the arrow is telling me the camera is over there. So this is probably why it's struggling at the moment. So let's, let's face that direction. There you go. So th I'm actually facing my camera now because you forget that you're Right, so that's fine. Um, so now, let's get me back to the table. Might actually work a bit better now. Yeah, there you go. So it's a lot more steady now. So that is the same. See how that arrow thing works now. Really much on there to be honest with you. Oh, he's missed. Get really close up to this. Let's just whack him. Oh, it's gone in off, not good. And online, I think this is a lot of fun playing against other people. I'm not really an online person, to be honest with you. I don't know why, I just, um, just, just like the privacy, just playing against uh, the computer sometimes. Uh, something else I've added here, this is quite good, although it's good and it's bad, is they've now highlighted the balls you're going for. When I first played this, there was, you kind of had to work it out yourself, and sometimes it was tricky to make out the stripes from the solids. But no such problem now. Obviously, you could argue it's quite annoying having those things on there, but I think it's actually for the better. So again, let's see, our arrow has moved off, so I need to, this way you need to move the table. It's very easy to get disoriented. But as long as you use that arrow thing. Let's get right down that. Oh. But yeah, there's a whole package. Yeah, it's all right. It's not my favourite VR game, but um, it's nice just to drop in every now and again. Oh, he's actually fouled. I should just be able to pick the ball up. Yeah. So new ball stripes. Can I put it over there? Will it let me do that? It depends what rules I'm playing. Oh, 
nice. Literally right over the top of the table now. Let's uh, down there. I'm just going to whack this. Get a bit of a side angle. Oh, a pot of green. Oh, and a pot of yellow as well. I think they're both not my balls though. Yeah, that isn't so good. problems getting these. So you get into this it's quite a lot of fun actually. Nice. Over there. Again keep an eye on this turn that way to face so you know the camera is there. I've got to be careful because there's a black over there. Should just be. Oh no! Hit it too thinly. What oh, handed him the frame? Oh, he's still got pot the nine. Or has he won? No, he has won. Oh dear. And this is quite addictive because I do fancy another game on that. But for now, I'm going to come away from that. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, as I said, this is um, more of a social type game. Uh, one day I'll probably be brave enough to come online and try it with other people. And there's certainly none of those blocks in here, but we are back in where we started. But um, that's pretty much it for now. Sports Bar 2.0. So if you fancy this game, you go out and buy it. And this update is obviously included with it for free. But for now, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.